Hello everybody, Buddy Web Midland, Texas. Uh, I did a Facebook post earlier about the bushes and the underground homes that I thought you would find interesting. Uh, that's what we're looking at here, the name of it, the Bush Safe Houses in Midland, Texas. Uh, this woman uh, on Nino's Facebook, Emma, she said, or Emmy, said the bushes as in George Bush? George Bush was my 10th cousin. I'm related to 29 presidents. That's a lot of presidents. My great-grandfather was U.S. Congressman from Massachusetts named Henry Ellsworth Dean. I came from a long line of Freemasons. And anyways, I, I don't know Emmy, but I, I said, yes, the two presidents, George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush, his father. I was told that the secret underground homes were put in for the Bushes in 1987 with a budget on permit for $7.35 million, and this was called the Safe House Project. The Bushes are from Midland, and at the time, George H. W. Bush was vice president under Reagan in 87. That's back when Irene Contra was going on. I was told that this by Layla O'Brien, who worked on this project as a CAD programmer. She said that the engineering contractor was PBK, and that they also built the school here. I asked Layla if she had to sign an NDA and she told me, oh, I had to sign more stuff for that job than any other that I worked on. I looked up her LinkedIn account and it showed that she'd worked for PBK. One story that seems to support this story is that another lady named Julia Weidman drove down to Midland from Dallas-Fort Worth to get a copy of the permits from the city of Midland that Julia talked about, uh, or, or that Layla had talked about. <clears throat> Julia later sent me an email telling me that James Rawls had told her with a grin on his face that all the permits had, had accidentally been deleted around 2014. This would have been two years after I'd been shot by somebody under my home with my phone lines cut. Another lady, lady told me to go look at my address, 3802 Fair Circle on Google Maps, and there I found a large bunker or building on the map screen that was not seen from above ground on the satellite screen. Obviously, this is one of the four underground safe houses. I contacted the city of Midland and told them that I that that multiple people had are documented saying that tunnels underground homes are here and that supporting evidence was found on Google Maps. About a week later, the bunker on Google Maps had been deleted. I believe that somebody with the city had that deleted in an effort to cover up the crimes and murders connected with these underground homes. Most and most likely, they used the excuse of them being put in for the bushes. Okay, and here I'm going to show you some of these pictures. I'm not going to put these in any certain order. I'm just going to open them up. Okay, uh, the first one here on the left was Facebook conversation Layla Gale O'Brien, and she she wrote to me and everybody else seven point three five mil, and I said what miles, and she said million on permit. Okay, so that's what she's talking about. Uh, they used to be called safe houses. It was a safe house project put in for the bushes. 1987 with on permit 7.35 million. Well, this lady, Julia Weidman, she drives down from uh, Dallas Fort Worth. She's an expert in these underground permits and she has set up a, a, a you know, a meeting with the city of Midland to get the permits. Okay. She wrote me this email in 2019, November 22nd. And she, and here I'll just tell you what some of the things she said. James Rawls was clearly prepared to tell me about the missing records. Okay. And then she goes on. She said, when I asked him about the permit records for storm shelters in Midland, he with a smile told me that all of the permit records prior to 2015 had been destroyed or lost due to attempt to digitize the department's records in 2014, 2015. I asked him twice if he was the gatekeeper for these records. He answered he was. In other words, there's nowhere, but nowhere else to go to. When I brought up the subject of the basement at Home Depot, it clearly unnerved him. But he was downright gloating about the missing records. And I looked up James Rawls online, and I found out where he used to work for Home Depot, which seems important because the Home Depot store is right behind my house where the underground home is located. Okay. This one here... Is uh, and this wasn't very long ago. George W. Bush visits Midland for free for first tea fundraiser, and and at the time this was like I said just several months ago. I, I was writing the mayor and the city council about all this, and I had talked about Bush and the underground safe house and all that. Next thing, no Bush shows up in town in Midland. I figured it was the real reason was to talk about the underground homes. Uh, this here is a picture of, of the late Sheriff Gary Painter with with George Bush. It's a, I found this online too, and that's interesting because I'd recorded Sheriff 
candidate Joe Lozano in the in the election for 2020 chair after Painter died, he was saying that that uh, that the underground homes was Painter's hideout, and that was Painter. And look there, it looks like he's friends with George Bush, who's from Midland. Okay, okay. This here, I've been to this home uh, right here, and, and I think it's on Missouri Street. It's the George W. Bush childhood home, the official childhood home, George W. Bush. This is in Midland. There's there's George W. Bush right there in the picture. Okay. Okay. This right here, there's George and Laura Bush. This was a Bush home, George W. and Laura Bush on 1405 Golf Course and a piece of car. I found this at an antique store. And and what's interesting about this is that when I first moved to Midland, my realtor showed me this house. I had the opportunity to buy this house right here. And that's kind of odd that, you know, I didn't buy that house and I end up buying this house over here. And, and you know, in the backyards, underground home, it was for the bushes, you know, ain't that weird. Okay, uh, that, this another estate sale find, and it was a sign, you can see where it's signed right there by Ronald Reagan, okay, and it was from the Reagan Bush 84 uh, uh, presidential election, is what it was, the George, and that was uh, the dad, but uh, who's also from Midland, okay, here, here's uh, off the internet, it was, a, it was a street sign here, welcome to Midland, hometown of President George W. and Laura Bush, yeah. This is uh, off LinkedIn. This was Layla Gell O'Brien, the CAD design. She told me it was a CAD programmer. That's what her LinkedIn says. She told me she worked for PBK. And there it is, project manager, PBK. <coughs> and she's the one that told me PBK was the engineering contractor that put in the underground homes here in Midland. And with a budget of $7.35 million on permit. And said that we also built a school there. You know, that should be easy to verify. And, you know, that's what I was trying to do was verify. We looked at that one. And here was the, the map from the map screen on Google Maps that's showing the large bunker in my backyard right here. This is the Home Depot store right here. It's, it's very close. And I was shot right here. Okay. And, and that's where I sent to the city of Midland and said, I, you know, hey, there's... Uh, you know, multiple people documented saying underground homes there. They're supporting evidence on, on Google Maps. This is important. You know, somebody tried to murder me. Mom left me crippled without a job. You know, my name smeared. And then it got deleted, you know. And somebody had Google delete it. And I think somebody in the city of Midland was trying to cover up these murders. Okay. And here was a, a print screen from conversation that I had. This lady told me, she says, that's so bizarre. But yeah, I believe you. I had a lot of people here recently in the past week talking about the underground tunnels here in Midland and discussing the underground. Word here in Midland is now there's a game room here that all the high officials go to. And you know, bet money and you know when money and whatever else they do down there, i.e., you know what that is. But I hear more and more people talking about it. Okay. So there it is right there in my backyard. It got deleted it off Google Maps, but I got a print screen of it, you know, I think that, that that was it, there's Bush in town, Bush again with Painter, Bush's child good on, anyway, I thought y'all might find that interesting, uh, uh, you know, I think it ought to be a national news story, this buddy way of Midland, Texas.